Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night. Every object tells a story, but some stories are better left untold. Welcome to a world that is as intriguing as it is chilling. A world where the mundane and the macabre dance a waltz of whispers and shadows. Our tale begins at a seemingly ordinary place, a pawn shop. But this is no ordinary pawn shop. It's a place where each item holds a tale, a secret, a mystery. In this pawn shop, nestled in an obscure corner of the world, every object has a past. Every item a history and every artifact a secret. From the dusty gramophone playing tunes that send chills down your spine, to the antique mirror that reflects more than your mere image, each item holds a story that is waiting to be unraveled. The old grandfather clock, its hands frozen at the stroke of midnight, is a silent sentinel keeping an eerie vigil over the shop. And those vintage postcards, they whisper tales of love and loss in hushed undertones. But what makes these objects truly haunting is not their age or their peculiarity, but the unsettling stories tied to them. These are not just stories, but fragments of lives once lived, echoes of laughter and cries lost in time. They are the remnants of joy and sorrow, love and hate, life and death. And it is these stories, these echoes of the past, that imbue these objects with an uncanny life of their own. As you walk down the narrow aisles of this shop, a chill runs down your spine, a sense of unease pervades the air, a feeling of being watched. The atmosphere is thick with suspense and trepidation. You can't shake off the feeling that these objects are more than what they seem. That they are watching, waiting, whispering. You may wonder what sets this pawn shop apart from the rest. What makes it a place of mystery and dread? The answer lies not in the shop itself, but in the objects it houses. What makes this pawn shop different, you ask? Well, every item here comes with its own ghost. Behind the dusty glass case is a collection of cursed artifacts, beckons. Our journey into the uncanny begins with an antique mirror, its silvered surface worn with age. Legend tells of a vain countess who, unable to bear the sight of her aging reflection, made a pact with the underworld. Tragically, she vanished without a trace, yet her visage continues to appear in the mirror, forever trapped in a timeless beauty. A chilling reminder that vanity comes with a price. Moving on, we encounter a doll eerily lifelike with glassy eyes that seem to follow you around the room. This doll, named Annabelle, is said to be possessed by the spirit of a little girl who tragically died over a century ago. Many who have dared to cross her path report strange occurrences, objects moving on their own, eerie whispers in the dead of night, and even the doll changing positions on its own. A child's plaything turned into a vessel of the supernatural, Annabelle is not to be trifled with. Lastly, we turn to a vintage music box. Crafted in the late 19th century, its delicate mechanism plays a haunting melody that echoes through the shop. However, its true enigma lies in its unwarranted performances. The music box, with no human intervention, begins to play its eerie tune at the stroke of midnight. A spectral serenade that sends shivers down the spine, its inexplicable behavior is a testament to the unseen forces that surround us. Each of these artifacts, though seemingly innocuous, is imbued with a spectral energy that defies logic and reason. Bound by unseen forces, they whisper tales of sorrow, fear, and mystery. Their stories serve as a grim reminder of the thin line that separates our world from the unknown. And these are just a few of the cursed articles. The true horror, though, lies in what they've seen. The items are not the only ones with a tale to tell. The shop itself whispers of a past filled with unexplainable incidents. As we delve deeper into the enigma of this pawn shop, it becomes clear that the artifacts are not the sole bearers of ghostly tales. The shop itself seems to hum with an energy that is palpable to anyone who steps inside. Both shop owners and customers have reported a plethora of peculiar happenings. Imagine walking through the narrow, dimly lit aisles, the air heavy with dust and the faint scent of antiquity. Suddenly an object catches your eye, not because of its allure, but because it inexplicably moves on its own. No breeze, no nudge, just a solitary movement that defies the laws of physics. Then there are the sounds. No, not the creaking of old wood or the ticking of ancient clocks, but strange, disembodied noises that have no discernible source. A soft whisper in the ear when no one else is present, a low hum that seems to vibrate the very air, a sudden unnerving laugh that echoes through the otherwise silent shop. And let's not forget the eerie sensation of being watched. 
Many a customer has reported feeling unseen eyes on them, a prickling sensation at the nape of the neck, a sudden chill that has nothing to do with the weather outside. It's as if the shop itself is observing, scrutinizing each and every visitor. These are not mere stories spun to intrigue the curious. They are accounts from ordinary people who've had extraordinary experiences. Each tale adds another layer to the enigma that is this pawn shop, fueling the intrigue and the chill that runs down your spine. Yet despite extensive investigations and countless theories, these occurrences remain unexplained. There is no scientific rationale, no logical explanation that can account for these unearthly incidents. These occurrences remain unexplained, but they all point to one chilling fact. The shop is alive. Every haunted place has a dark past, and this shop is no exception. Our narrative begins over a century ago in the late 19th century. The pawn shop was originally established by a gentleman of ill repute, known only as The Collector. His unsavory reputation was built on his obsession with the occult, and he filled his shop with artifacts of a decidedly eerie nature. As the years passed, the shop changed hands numerous times and each owner met an untimely and often inexplicable end. The first successor was found lifeless, his face frozen in an eternal scream. The next, a daring woman who laughed in the face of superstition, disappeared without a trace. Her only remnants were her spectacles, left behind on the counter. The subsequent owners, too, all met with grim fates, a string of misfortunes that painted a chilling pattern. The shop seemed to be a magnet for tragedy. Fires, unexplained illnesses, and even a murder-suicide painted a macabre tableau of the store's history. Each incident added a new layer of fear and mystique to the shop, making it a veritable hotbed of paranormal activity. Yet the shop endured, its dark allure attracting a steady stream of curious customers and daring owners. And with each transaction the collection of haunted objects grew, as did the shop's reputation for being a nexus of the supernatural. The pawn shop's history is a tapestry of terror, woven with threads of tragedy, mystery, and fear. Each artifact, each owner, each event contributing to the overarching horror theme that clings to the shop like a spectral shroud. The shop has seen its share of death and despair from spectral sightings to unexplained phenomena. The chilling tales of its past are enough to rattle even the bravest souls. But as any seasoned ghost hunter knows, the most terrifying tales are those that lurk beneath the surface. The shop has seen its share of death and despair, but its darkest secret is yet to be revealed. Beneath the surface of this ordinary pawn shop lurks a dreadful secret. A secret so sinister it sends shivers down your spine just thinking about it. It's a secret that has been whispered from one generation to the next, a tale of horror, of fear, of unspeakable events. The pawn shop, you see, isn't just a place where forgotten trinkets and baubles find a new home. It's a place where the objects, each with their own macabre history, come alive when the moon is at its peak and the world is fast asleep. The cursed collection, the unearthly incidents, the shop's dark past, they all lead us to this chilling revelation. The anticipation escalates, your heart pounds in your chest as the dreadful secret is about to unfold. But just as the secret is about to be revealed, the narrator cuts off abruptly, leaving viewers on a cliffhanger. Are you ready to uncover the truth? Well, you'll have to wait until next time. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night.